a lot of people think we're a little bit crazy for investing this much time and love into these little rodents' lives. My name is Alyssa. I have a YouTube channel called Alyssa in Pets. I'm Vicky and I'm the human behind the account Olive and Chestnut. My name is Charissa and I'm the owner of the page Mom Design 26. My name is Susan and I'm the human behind Toys and Cafe. Hi, I'm Kat from Cat Skinny Pigs. Hi, my name is Kim and I live in Canada. Why do I love guinea pigs? Why shouldn't I? I have actually loved guinea pigs since I was like 12 or 13 years old. When I was around 11 years old. My parents bought me my first piggies when I was really young and I've just been obsessed with them ever since really. When my friend offered me to take care of three guinea pigs, Panda, Grease and Polar. Now they're literally my entire life. I just love how they've all got such different personalities. Every single piggy I've ever met has just been such a little character. I love everything about them from their cute weeks, whenever we pass by, always hungry and begging for food, to their donut lips and tiny paws. And I saw this hairy creature yawning with these donut lips, cute little mouse. One day I came across the most adorable video of a guinea pig and I instantly fell in love. I mean, how could you not love these little fur balls? Almost no one talks about, but we all know that there are some cyber harassments. People that take that anonymity that social media can provide and use it to spread negativity or try and cause hurt are just not the people we want to frequent our page. You have to have very thick skin. It can become very overwhelming for someone who is not used to being criticised. I think a lot of the time it's better to just see the constructive criticism in their comments or if they're just being nasty, just completely ignore them. I overcome this barrier of working hard and not giving up, but it's rewarding at the end. It's tough sometimes given that my native tongue is not English or French for me to give feedback that comes off constructive only and not judgmental. Unfortunately, sometimes uh, either through text or tone, people can read or understand the message differently. We all know that social media is a toxic place. That is why it is very important to have a community and friends that support each other. In my future comic book, I will be covering some information about guinea pig health and rescues. I want to make sure when they do decide to adopt one, they bring them to the best home possible, so making sure they have all the right tools. It's just to advocate towards proper care for these animals. A lot of huge chain pet stores and other places just sell these horribly tiny pet store cages to people who have never done any research on guinea pigs themselves and they don't even know how to properly take care of them. Making sure that all guinea pigs' parents give a proper care and cage for all their guinea pigs so they can live a happy and healthy life bringing awareness to vet costs and the importance of taking your guinea pigs to the vet. So I just want to keep sharing how smart and funny guinea pigs can be. Um, I want everyone to know that these animals can thrive on attention and grow up to be so tame and loving should the, the right care and time be put into to spending with them. I mean, look at them. In terms of misconceptions, I think a lot of people think we're a little bit crazy for investing this much time and love into these little rodents' lives. So honestly, I do feel like the guinea pig community is actually a pretty diverse community. I do have to say, being a female content creator, I do feel like females get harassed more than male animal content creators do. So there are two extremes. People either assume I'm really young and naive, um, whilst others assume that I have vet expertise level of knowledge of guinea pigs. If you're not a vet, for instance, you are not often seen as a trusted source. So becoming an influencer, gaining the trust of the community is the biggest challenge. The internet should just already be a safe space for women. Nowadays, women should not be afraid to speak up on what is wrong, especially when it comes to proper animal care. 
women should not be afraid to be strong and voice their opinions. The guinea pig online space is primarily really lovely people just excited to, to share and talk about life with guinea pigs. If anything feels wrong or if you see anything that you're worried about, tell someone in real life or tell a responsible um, account that you trust. You're never alone, so speak up. And piggy people, we stick together. I actually think the guinea pig community is one of the better communities online for women. I know about 75% of my following is actually from women themselves. I do think that in any online space really, people need to be nicer and just remember that there's a person behind the username. We are all still learning the do's and don'ts in this ever-changing new reality we live in. Is to have each other's back, to be able to spread positivity as much as we can. I'd say the best part of being a animal content creator or influencer is the effect that I have on other people's animal care. I've gotten so many messages from people telling me that they completely changed their guinea pig care from a tiny pet store cage to a huge CNC or handmade cage. Definitely all the amazing people that we've been able to chat to, online friends that we've made. Definitely the friends and support you make along the way. There's so much love in the community. To share our thoughts, to share our creations, and be able to find like-minded people. Being able to positively influence people. The worst thing, <laughs> the worst thing is the opposite. Having to deal with hate comments, of course. Is that you're exposed to some negative, disrespectful, and hurtful comments. So the worst thing is when life gets super busy and you feel like you're letting down people by not posting quality content so often. Feeling like you're letting people down when you don't have time or resources to make a post. For humans, guinea pigs are just a part of our world. But for our guinea pigs, we really are their whole world. Happy International Women's Day!